Hey guys, in this video, I will only share with you a free white wedding lot. I will also show you the best way to apply it so that you can get an amazing result because sometimes you can apply lots on your image and the result is going to give you, you will not like it. So watch through this video so that you learn the best way to use this free white wedding lot. If you come down here to color lookup and create a color lookup adjustment and then you come to load through the lot. In the folder where you are going to download this white wedding lot, you just go there and load it. And this result you get this result is not the best result for this color grading you see how it's destroying the skin tone wait let me show you how to use it and get an amazing result on your skin so we are deleting the layer we just created if you zoom onto the skin of this model you can see that the skin of these two couples are rough so we take our spot healing brush and remove any black spots we are seeing on their faces with the spot healing brush you randomly remove any black spots you are seeing on their faces. Look at the hairline here. You can drag, draw a line on it to remove the edge. So it's as easy as that to remove this. Now, to smooth this kind of image, you know white wedding do come in large numbers. So if you want to edit your white wedding photography fast, use the AutoFace FS action. This is the AutoFace FS action. You just click on this action. It's going to automatically retouch your image for you. Here was the before and here is the after. You see how it gives the image a natural retouched look. Since this is a wedding and you want to preserve memory, you need to make sure that the retouching looks natural. See the before and see the after. If your client wants very smooth results, you just right click on the AutoFace FS action and you flatten the image and you apply the action twice to get a very smooth result why the skin texture is being retained so you see right now see the before see the after this second one is looking too smooth i'll delete it because i want this to look natural so you can see the before and the after it smooths your skin while retaining the skin texture to get the auto face fs action check the link in the description so after applying this action we are going to now apply the lot so come and create a color lookup, load 3D lot, go to the folder where your lot is and load it onto the image just like this. Now we are going to reduce the opacity, reduce the opacity all the way to 30 or 40. Let's leave it at 40. Now you can see the before and the after. It has given the white a cyan feel, it has boosted the skin tone and it has generally changed and color graded this image with just this lot that we give to you for absolutely free now to make everything appear better you are going to create a selective color adjustment you are going to come to the reds and we are going to boost the reds and we are going to adjust the magenta in the reds like this i come to the yellow and we are also going to add magenta to the yellow and while we add reds to the yellow we are now going to add blue to the yellows like this see the before and see the after we are now going to reduce the opacity we will come to the blacks and we are going to make the blacks look cinematic we add cyan to the black blue to the yellows of the black and we are going to darken the blacks like this so you see the before and the after finally we can now come to the white and we are now going to add cyan to the white we are going to add blue to the white to color the white. We are now going to either darken or brighten the white depending on the state the, your image currently is on. You either brighten or darken. Move the slider to the both extreme and see what works best for you before and after. See, take a look at the general before and the after. This is the general before and this is the state we are right now. Finally, you can give it your own style of color grading.